what's going on my beautiful people of youtube thanks for clicking on the video today i have another awesome review for you guys and what i like to do most is help you guys out with information on sourcing for those of you who are looking to expand your inventory or if you're in the midwest area like i am um, near chicago illinois i like to help you guys with places that i source from for those of you who are just starting out or looking for different places that you can go to to, to get new inventory um, make sure you guys follow along because i do unboxings and reviews palette unboxing and other local sources that you might be able to source from so today i wanted to talk to you guys about finding a local bin store um, now when i say bin store there's a lot of new stores that are popping up that do amazon uh, or other major retailer returns or online returns and you guys can find those stores they're kind of like if you've been to like the goodwill bins or salvation army bins they basically put out a bunch of bins uh, you line up outside and then they open a store and it's basically a free-for-all you go and you can sort through all of the different bins and pick out things that you want add them to your cart and the way they do it is they'll have certain price points for each day for instance the place that I just went to that I'll be reviewing today they start out on Saturdays and everything on Saturdays is seven dollars so seven dollars for anything that you find in those bins you can find a television uh, like a crock pot whatever it is they don't really sort anything out they just kind of put it all into the bins and whatever you find it's seven dollars now the catch with that is uh those things could be returns it could be defective sometimes they're shelf pool sometimes they're new sometimes they're used so it's up to you what you want to get um, sometimes the packages are sealed and you can see that they're brand new sometimes it's out of the box and missing pieces um, but you know that it's seven dollars so really it's you know you you grab what you can you put it in a cart you sort through it at the end and you see what you can make profit on if uh, you know you're selling it for profit a lot of people just go you know obviously it's a good deal for people who want to do some shopping for the holidays or if you're just looking for things for the house and whatnot so not everyone that goes obviously is a reseller there's people looking for good deals all the time but um, I'm seeing a lot of resellers doing these reviews online and if you're fortunate enough to have one of these stores near you I would definitely look for them a good place to find them is on facebook marketplace a lot of these stores are not major stores or they're, they're you know people that are opening up shops that are buying pallets and you know looking for a good way to flip them quickly obviously which is a brilliant idea um so they don't have websites you can um, look for them locally facebook marketplace i would type in search words such as like bin stores or Amazon return stores or closeout stores and you can find you can possibly find something in your area so the name of the place that I'm gonna be reviewing today is called in and outlet so in and outlet and they're in Aurora Illinois and it was my first time going I didn't know what to expect but I was able to find some really good stuff and uh, they opened at 9 a.m. so I was out there a little bit early the line wasn't too bad or anything and the owners came out they talked to us you know explained the rules and everything super friendly super cool people by the way and um, they do like contests and stuff so I don't know it was good vibes all around but anyways I was able to pick up a lot of cool stuff and I wanted to share you with you guys what I found so I did find one item in there that actually paid for pretty much everything that I bought um, so I'm going to show you guys what that is and I'm going to show you guys also some comps on what I'm listing this stuff for so this is my photo area by the way I just have a couple pieces here of like um is it like project board construction board I have it up on the wall and I have my lights I have another light there and this light here so usually I'll just put them here on this table and this is where I take my photos on this is everything that I got. Um, I'm not starting. I'm just starting here just because this is where it's at. But this is a 
whole box of flashlights. You can see with the light there. So yeah, it's a whole box of flashlights and a bunch of batteries. So seven dollars right there's I don't know, there's probably like 15, 20 flashlights in there. Plus the batteries, I don't know, we go through batteries so much here. Um, I figured the batteries alone is worth it. And I can put this out in the summertime at my flea market booth and sell them for a dollar a pop. So, uh, you know, easy money, easy money for seven bucks in inventory. Then I have a Fluger fishing reel. And I believe I have this listed right now for about $39. That's what it's selling for. Then I have some, these are refrigerator water filters. These are always a bolo. If you guys see these out thrifting or anywhere for cheap, um, I would definitely suggest you get them. So with these, they came in a pack of three. Um, and I believe this is an Amazon return. Um, but they're not even opened. I checked them here and you can tell they're brand new sealed. So a pack of three and I have two of those. I actually have picked up, well, I have two packs of three. There's another one under there. I had actually picked up another one, but it happened to be the size of my fridge. So, and I just ran out of water filters. So seven bucks, hey, win-win situation. Then I have a, this is a two-in-one professional hair straightener, which can also be used as a curler. And this also is selling for about $40 online. So what I do when I go to these bins, I just, you know, honestly, if I see something, it went with the intention of like, you know, anything that I can sell, you know, you figure $7, anything I can sell for about $35 online is going to at least double my money, if not more. So um, when I went to just, you know, if I seen something cool, I added it to the cart and, you know, then I kind of just sorted through everything at the end and looked up comps and whatnot. So uh, here we have ultra wipe warmer. So it's a baby wipe warmer and holder. And it also has like a light that you can put if you have a changing station. So I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I may list this one locally as well. I think I did already list it locally, but you know, it's winter time obviously and quarantine babies around the way. So, you know, I thought that would be a nice pickup. Uh, then we have here, But this is an Epica Hand Immersion Blender. So it's a four-in-one blender, puree, chopper, and whiskers. So um, another thing right now with the holidays and everything coming up, people are looking for a lot of cooking stuff. So I thought this would be something that would sell well. So here you go. And I did open it up. The box is like open right here. But everything seems to be intact and the original wrapping is still on there. Then we have, this is, didn't come in the box, but this is actually an angle grinder with all of the discs, manual and everything. It doesn't look like it's been used, but unfortunately it doesn't have the box. So power tools obviously are a must grab when you see them. And I did test that out and it is in working condition. Then I have two of these are I Carmint. Open this up for you. I Carmint wireless portable air compressor, which is pretty cool. Um, this has or has like the AC adapter for your wall outlet, and then it also has the cigarette charger, so you can take this on the go, camping, or doing whatever, you need air, blow the tent, um, tire, car tires, motorcycle tires, whatever it is, but it comes in a nice little case, it's like alloy, alloy steel, so, and yeah, these are selling for about 40 bucks online. And another thing, most of the stuff I, I like to, you know, if it's something that's heavy, is if you want to get it see if you can fit it in flat rate, flat sorry flat rate packaging 
So this looks a little bit to fit in a padded flat rate, but um, you know, if that's the case, I may charge a little lower for the item and charge the customer shipping. So, um, you know, but it's small. This might even fit in a medium flat rate, if anything. But it's not too heavy. It's probably about three, four pounds. Uh, then next we have here, this is interesting, whenever I see weird stuff, I grab it for sure because eBay is like the home of weird stuff, weird stuff definitely sells. Drop in the comments, what's the weirdest thing you sold? Um, so weird, yes, this is a professional, let's see if you guys can see that by the light. It's a professional Chinese cupping set. So for like acupoint, acupuncture, um, therapy. It's brand new. Well, I guess somebody bought this and decided they didn't need it after all. Because everything here is new, has the little pump and all of the cups. There's two more cups here. So this is an 18 piece set. So I have this currently listed for about $40 and I have it listed locally as well. So we have, moving on, we have a science deck keypad door lock. So um, I believe it's bronze and you know that was a steal for $7. My friend actually picked up a bunch of these for his house so Gotta see how that worked out for him. But um, definitely feel like I can fit this in a padded flat box. box. Uh, looks to be maybe about five pounds, but for seven bucks, you can't beat it. This is a travel voltage converter US. So you take this along, you can put any type of adapters in it. Uh, box is a little damaged, but I had, I see people having these listed on eBay, like even without the box. So, um, yeah, I think I have this one listed at about $50, $40, $50, something of that sort. Again, I'll put in some screenshots at the end there. <clears throat> Xbox One power supply. So this is just a brick power supply for an Xbox One. If your dog chewed it up or maybe you fried it or something, something happened to your cord. Um, stuff like this is always good to have. List. Then here we have a condenser microphone. So this is like a microphone for podcasts or you can, you know, it's a USB connector so you can plug it up to your laptop, desktop desktop uh, whatever it is and it's a nice little microphone so um, it's actually really nice and so that's the gist of it and then I have this actually just sold about 10 minutes ago and it's a battery charger maintainer for looks like motorcycles scooters boats RVs um, and basically anything 12 Bolt. So uh, this brand is actually, once I looked it up, it was a really good brand. So I've already sold this for $40 online today. And <clears throat> this is, I'm sorry, it's already wrapped up. I sold this yesterday. But this is an external CD DVD drive and this sold in 10 minutes for $25. But the buyer paid for shipping, so after fees and whatnot easy ten dollars ten dollars in less than ten minutes and last but not least this item here wideband air fuel this is an o2 sensor for your vehicle and um this thing sells for 150 dollars on ebay and online on Amazon everywhere that I've looked for it is hundred and fifty dollars and it is brand new sealed so yeah there you have it this pays for everything um, I know nothing about this product I've actually been researching it for two days 
to even figure out how to list it because I truly had no idea. So I've gone to like four or five listings, just read everything, read the website, read all of the specifications here because I definitely don't want this returned. But just goes to show you don't need to know what you're selling. And if you see weird stuff like this, don't pass on it because it could be worth some money. All right, guys, so I looked at my receipt and the amount that I spend on everything that I picked up at the store was $155.14. And you seen that one item, this item right here is alone is going to sell for $150. So if you guys have not checked out in your area, if you have any of these bin stores, I would highly suggest that you do so and just go check it out. The holidays are fast approaching and people are going to be looking for new items, new electronics, stocking stuffers, and it is the season where people are spending. So definitely go check them out. If you guys want to check out this place, um, I'll go ahead and put the info down in the comments below of their Facebook page. And if you're in the area, make sure to check them out and that's it for today thanks for watching today's video make sure you subscribe like the video if you liked it if not oh well um thanks for watching anyways you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you guys in the next one Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes. I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier.